is bad girl perfume, the it girl perfume, bad girl perfume, gives bad girl vibes, like you a bad girl, bad girl, oh my god, I just love this perfume. Tell me what you see in me. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nady. Welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for watching the video. So in today's video, as you can see, I have my favorite 2023 fragrances. I'm just going to talk a bit more in details about them. Why do I love these fragrances? Why do I wear it? Why do I care compliment it so much when I wear them? And if you guys have any of these fragrances or want to try it, comment below which one you're curious about or if you have any of them. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. But let's get into the video. So we're going to be talking about the top notes, which is the first smell that you get after you spray the fragrance. And then the middle note, after a couple minutes, your perfume settles. Then you have different type of smell that can come up. And then the base note, which is after a couple hours and already in your body and settle. It will give you maybe different smell that you get from the start. And a lot of fragrances, it depends on your body type, the how moisturized you are. The smell diverse a lot. So if you have a friend who have the same fragrance as you, the smell can be very different in each body type. But yeah, let's get more into detail of each perfume. The first fragrance is Libre by YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, and this one is the Eau de Toilette 100ml. I really love the bottle of this, it's just very aesthetic and pleasing, I, I just love it. I, when I saw the bottle, I was like, right away, I need to get this scent. But it's a fragrance, very warm, it's a very soft and a very hoody and musky scent and me personally i prefer the eau de toilette because it's not as hoody and musky as the eau de parfum or the parfum but i really enjoy it and i feel like it's a very strong fragrance and it lasts very long it's very very long lasting and i would recommend if you want a fragrance that lasts long but you don't have to spray it a lot so this scent it goes very well when you want to go to a more sophisticated mature environment i 100 percent recommend it and the top notes are lavender and mandarin oranges i do not feel the lavender quite but the mandarin orange i feel it right away and then we go to the middle notes which is lavender again and jasmine again i do not feel the lavender but i do feel the jasmine a lot and the notes that i do feel the most is the base note which is vanilla musk and amber which i do feel the amber right away from the star and the musk as well the vanilla i do feel a bit more later on and i really enjoy it and i feel like the amber and the musk is the thing that make it last longer and it's just a beautiful fragrance really if you want to go to a place when you want to be recognized for the scent and just look very mature and very just a presentable sophisticated smell you know what i mean but yeah this is the first fragrance and normally i would mix it i would complement it with this scent which i'm gonna talk later on but this scent together it just layer on really good i really love how it smells when it like layer with it and i do believe it even smells even stronger the scent gets even better and it lasts even longer than it already does we do follow up with the next one which is mark jacobs perfect this one at 50 ml i just love the bottle mark jacobs bottle is so creative so beautiful just make you want to buy them just to collect the bottles i really enjoy it but the scent itself is really nice i really like the perfect the old toilet it's really really good i feel like it's a very fresh floral scent it just it's just a beautiful scent really and i do love it. it's very sweet it's very floral it's not very long lasting which is a sad thing but i do understand because it's all the toilet maybe the eau de parfum or the parfum it's a bit stronger and it will last longer but though the toilet it doesn't last very long so i'll have to retouch it but again i do recommend it. it's very beautiful scent and the top notes for this one is pink pepper which i kind of feel it but not as a starter i do feel like a very much floral scent rather than pink pepper at the start and then the middle note is narcissus which i do feel a lot as a starter as an 
primary top note then rather in the middle I do feel the narcissus right away and then the bass note is the cedar which I do feel again in a bit but not much I feel like the narcissus is the main one that I do feel in this fragrance and it just brings freshness it just brings cleanness it just brings a very floral and a very um sweet scent a very beautiful scent i do recommend it a lot i really like to wear it on the daily basis uh, again i'm really sad because it's not a very long lasting one but i do love it's one of my favorite ones to wear and i just love marc jacobs for all my heart so the next perfume is a dupe is a dupe for the libre yves Saint Laurent le parfum which it's a better a stronger a more intense version of the old toilette but i do personally prefer the dupe rather than the le parfum full lip and it's a very good perfume is a very good dupe they have the same notes they have the same exactly scent as soon as you spray you will smell it right away this is a hambury fragrance and it's a very addictive magnetic scent right away and the notes like i refer is exactly the same as the leaf so the top note is mandarin oranges and the middle note is jasmine orange blossom and lavender and the base note is vanilla which is exactly the same one that i described for the leaf or the toilette it's a very good option if you don't want to spend much money on the Le Parfum and the smell I'm telling you is exactly the same and it's a very good scent. I really like this one. I prefer this one rather than the original Lip, uh, Le Parfum. And the next one is one of my favorite fragrance so far. I really love this down to her, which is actually one of the fragrance that my friend gave me. This was her, she didn't like it, she gave it to me. And I just got obsessed with it. It's just such a good fragrance. I'm a very fruity, sweet scent. So this fragrance literally described me. And it's the guest seductive flirt. And the name itself, it's literally a seductive flirt in the fragrance. You get highlighted as long as you get in the room when you're wearing this. People compliment me all the freaking time when I wear this. They ask, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I'm the type of person that likes smells, especially fruity and sweet scents that just highlight me in the room. And as soon as I get in, people ask, oh, who smells like this? Who's wearing this? And that's the type of perfume if you want to get caught up being called, oh my god, it smells so good, buy it. I'm telling you right away. It's my favorite so far. I'm giving so much hype because I really love it. And this one, it's the amber floral sweet fruity scent and there's a very seductive it's very like a bright scent it's a very pleasant scent and when you smell it it's just very pleasant to smell if you like sweet scents if you're not you're just not gonna like it because you're gonna feel like it's too overpowering but that's the perfume i love but yeah so the top notes for this is pear and bergamot and then the middle notes, it's jasmine and African orange flowers. And then we go to the base note, which is cashmere hood and vanilla. And I feel like the vanilla and the jasmine and the African orange flowers just like give a little bit of spice in it. Just, it just, I just love it. Just so good. And if you layer it with something even more sweet, I would normally wear it either with the Valentino or the scandal but normally i do layer it with the valentino one and it just smells so amazing two fruity scents just complement each other even more i do love it 100 percent so the next perfume it's a dupe it was sent by a brand i think it was last year and they sent me two actually but my cousin wanted one of them so i literally gave it to her they were exactly the same smells the same perfume but she loved it so i said you know what girl keep it like keep it i got another one but this one is by the vein femme 167 and it's the dupe for the ysl black opium though this smells so gorgeous it smells so gorgeous it's so similar 
to the YSL Black Opium is so, so beautiful, so affordable. If you want to save some money, make sure you get this one. And it's a very warm, spicy scent. It's a soft, spicy scent, but it's a very hoodie as well. And it's just beautiful, really. And the top note for this one, it's orange blossom in pears. And then the middle note is coffee and jasmine. And then the base note, it's cashmere hood in cedar. It's a very beautiful scent. It lasts very long because of the orange blossom and the cashmere and the cedar. I really do like it when I tell you that the bottle was halfway through when my cousin took it. And this bottle I got, I think it was last year. I think last year or the beginning of the year and I've been wearing it but I normally layer it and when I do layer it I go either with the YSL Lib or the Golden Decade because I feel like it complement each other and it's just a beautiful scent to layer it together I really like them together and the next fragrance is Misty Or Roses and Roses and this perfume has me in chocolate for the last couple of months I really do enjoy it, it's a very feminine floral scent it's a very fresh and delicate scent I'm really really obsessed with it and I used to not like much of the Dior perfumes the only one that I used to love to death is the poison and i still love that one but now this one it's one of the my go-to's for my daily basis and i really do enjoy it and the top notes for this one is bergamot and then italian mandarin and then the middle note it's grass rose and the mask rose and then we go to the base note which is white musk i feel like it's a very feminine scent it's a very delicate scent and it's just very long lasting as well and i i really fell in love with it like at first when i first tried it i was like mm, this is not really my scent i really don't like it but then a couple hours later i spray on my wrist and i just like oh my gosh which scent is that this smell is so good and then i recognized the scent and i went there and i was like i'm literally obsessed with this and it's just a beautiful fragrance to wear on the daily basis really the following fragrance is from zara again and this one is from kidswear actually and this one is the tutu golden tutu i really fell in love with this fragrance when i try it and it's just such a soft fresh scent so delicate because since it's for kids it's not very overpowering but it's a very good fragrance and the top note it's a uh, cherry i never actually tried any perfume that had the top note cherry but i really like it and the middle one it's peony and the base note it is oranges it's a very beautiful fragrance for a daily basis it's very fresh not overpowering it's just very very cute i really like it for like a young cute little girl walking when i'm wearing this perfume so the next perfume i actually got from a suggestion from tiktok and you know i had to try it i had to get it and the perfume it is i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but if i'm not i'm sorry it's latafa opulent mask it's just a beautiful fragrance it's just amazing uh tiktok thank you you guys know the things and it's just amazing this is an ambery musky hoodie and a very spicy scent it's a great balance between hoodie and musky it's just very very good though i have to invest in more Arab perfumes because they are so good they smell so nice and they last so freaking long and I just love this perfume down to her I normally layer it with a lot of other perfumes that I do have it because it just makes it more intense and make the smell just smells even better it just gives more quality to the other smells when I layer it with this one so it's a very good perfume again I'll recommend 100% and it's a very long lasting perfume I would say it's an evening perfume it's very strong and it's very intense and I would say normally I would wear it more in winter rather than summer but 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 and the top notes it's wire musk so from a lemon and then we go to the middle ones it's white flower jasmine and then to the base note it's cedar amber and white musk again it's a very good fragrance i will recommend 
very 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 much you guys gotta try it tiktok put me on and i loved it then we follow up with one of my fragrance that i had like for a long time this one is empty but i really love this fragrance it's one of the first ones that i started wearing it so i have a deep sentimental thing for this one it's machino toy boy bubble gum it's so freaking good i just love this fragrance it's such a sweet a sweet when i tell you sweet sweet it's like when you're walking do you like you just you just smell like a candy, like you were walking candy when I tell you this. People sometimes tell me, oh don't wear that, that's too sweet. Uh, no, I want to smell like candy, a walking candy. If you want to smell like a walking candy, get this one. It's so good. It's a fruity, a tropical, a floral, a beautiful fragrance. It's skin. It smells like bubble gum at the beginning and then it changes into roses smells. But it's a very beautiful fragrance. And the top note, it's very very good because it's candida fruit lemon and bitter oranges and then we go to the middle which is bubble gum again blueberries and ginger which is just amazing scent and i feel like the blueberry and the bubble gum just make even better the scent is just beautiful and then we go to the base which is musk and cedar and i just love this fragrance it's one of my first fragrances and one of my first loves and I just love it down to her and the bottle is so freaking cute look at this just this one is empty already but I had to put this fragrance on my 2023 because it's always with me all the time all the time so you know I had to put this on so the next one it's a Zara perfume and it's a Twilight Moon it's a very fruity a very floral and fresh scent it's a very good scent for summer. I really like it. I used to wear it a lot more often summer. But yeah, in the top notes are apple, watermelon, which just make very fresh, passion fruit and violet. And then we go to the middle notes, which are peony, iris and honey. And then we go to the base note, which is cedar and musk. I really like this one and I normally do layer it with the bubble gum by Machino and it just make me a walking candy the Machino one is already sweet this one is already sweet them both together it just make it extra sweet it just call attention and you know I would like that just be the center of attention I really like the scent layer together it's just amazing and the next perfume it's a perfume very much that people do not normally think I would wear but I really like it I really fell in love when I tried it and it's a Givenchy Lain Tordi I really like this one and my favorite scent is the Eau de Parfum Rouge it's a very ambery hoodie and it's a very spicy warm uh, fragrance and it's just an autumn scent mostly I really like it, I normally wear it during winter and autumn it's just very cozy the smell just give me autumn vibe it's very cozy and it's just very rich i just really like it and the scent is just very strong as well and i, I really like the perfume it's very like people normally would not say oh you wear this perfume it gives like old people vibes but no i love this fragrance it's just amazing but yeah so the top notes is ginger and as well as blood orange which i feel like i feel it a lot in this fragrance and then we go to the middle note with tuberose and then jasmine as well and then we go to the last one which is the base note which is sand hood which i really like this one is just so good it's like it's just so good but the most one that i do feel it's ginger and blood orange and it's just a unique fragrance it's just intense powerful and it will last so much the whole day if you spray it it will last the whole day you don't have to reapply it and it's just a beautiful beautiful magnificent fragrance i really love it down to earth for a musky one this is one of my favorite musky hoodie fragrance i 100 percent recommend everyone now let's get into the Ipco perfume, the Betty, the Betty of the Bettys of the perfumes. Just that girl. 
I know that's right. I know for sure you guys know this perfume because there's no freaking way that you could that girl and you don't know Carolina Herrera good girl because this girl it's called good girl but girl it gives bad girl vibes like you a bad girl bad girl oh my god I just love this perfume so freaking what it's just the best scent ever I literally it's out of all of them I'll say this one it's the it girl the it girl but yeah so it's a very spicy very sweet very floral very very i don't know how to describe it even more it's just it's just that girl perfume if you know you know because this perfume is just 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 whatever you want to whatever you want to call it it's just that girl perfume and the top scents are almond coffee and lemon and then we go to the middle water which is turmeric jasmine oranges and blossom and pear and roses and another roses and i just love this perfume though it's just just so good and we go to the base note which is cacao vanilla and cinnamon and amber and musk it's just so freaking good i literally so obsessed with this perfume if you guys know this perfume is like probably halfway it's my perfume that i go everywhere where i wear all the time 90 percent of the time i'm wearing this like literally 90 percent of the time i'm wearing this and the bottle is so freaking cute like high heels just gives like that girl like come on oh i just love this perfume like down to her and i normally do layer it and if i do layer it i go with um another it girl another bad girl this too oh my freaking gosh oh my freaking gosh or either with this one as well because just 10 out of 10 like guys try it just try it it's just 10 out of 10 um again out of all of them this is my bad girl perfume this is the perfume that i wear when i want to feel sexy when i feel empowered when i be the center of the attention that everyone looks at me and like oh my gosh who's smelling like that this is my go-to i just love this perfume down to hurt period and the next perfume is that girl perfume the it girl perfume bad girl perfume this period it's just that girl and it's jean paul gaultier scandal Le Parfum look at the bottle look how gorgeous the bottle is look at the appearance look at the smell it's just oh my gosh the bottle does just it to the smell is because it's beautiful gorgeous it's the fragrance that if you want to be recognized people say who smells like that who's that girl why it smells so good buy it right now right away because it's 10 out of 10 i just love this perfume so freaking much it's literally the perfume that i get most compliment of and i just love it i'm obsessed with it it's literally halfway through i'm literally halfway through with this perfume unfortunately but yeah let's get into the scents and the notes of this perfume this beautiful perfume so the top note is jasmine and then it goes to the middle note which is caramel and salt like this is my perfume because i'm literally obsessed with caramel and salt and this perfume has everything that i love and then it goes to the base note which is vanilla so this is literally the perfume made for me everything is made for me because it's a seductive perfume it's just vibrant it's just long lasting it's spicy it's the list is long i can get so much compliments when i wear this so i just love it but yeah get it that's all i gotta say get it get it if you want to get a compliment all night wear this perfume i'm telling you right now wear it because it's so freaking good and i just love it it's just a confident girl perfume you want to feel confident you want to feel beautiful you want to feel sexy you want to feel charming wear it wear it jean paul gaultier le parfum scandal just 10 out of 10 i recommend 100 percent and you're not gonna regret it at all like just perfect
Now we'll finish me off with the last fragrance, which is Valentino Born in Rome. I really love this perfume for summer. It's such a fruity, such a fresh tropical citruses. It's just a beautiful fragrance. All of the fragrance that I wore today, that I showed today, is just beautiful. But this one for summer, it's one of my go-to all the time. It's just a, such a tropical scent. It's a very, very summery, and it's a very youthful, very fun, very playful, and I just love it. And I, the top scents in this, the top notes are kiwi, Brazilian orange, and let me tell you, the Brazilian orange, you can smell it right away. That's one of the things that I smell right away as soon as I spray it. And then we go to the middle scents, and it goes to the Indian jasmine and roses. I kind of don't smell the roses. I feel like the Brazilian oranges go more higher than the roses. And then afterwards, you go to a wine musky scent, which I do not 100% agree. I feel like this is a very tropical, a very fruity scent from the start to the end. But I really love it. It's just like every time I recommend someone this perfume, they just fell in love. They just buy it right away because it's just a very, very fresh summery scent. It smells like summer. It's just 10 out of 10. And you guys are gonna love it. And it's just perfect. But yeah, guys, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you try any of the perfumes in here. And if you have any of them, let me know what you thought about it, what you feel about the perfumes, if you like it or not. And don't forget to comment, subscribe. And please don't forget to comment and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.